today I have some mystery books. My best friend, who was absolutely amazing, one time sent me a package in the mail. She sent me three books wrapped in brown paper and I didn't know what they were. The first one that I unwrapped and read was The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins and I read it, I enjoyed it, and today I'm gonna open another one. I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous, I don't know why, but this one says it's a thriller and historical fiction. This one says thriller, mystery, spy fiction, and look at the cute stickers she put on each of them. I love that so much. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the thriller, mystery, spy fiction. Okay, here we go. Okay. Big reveal. Ooh, our kind of traitor. I haven't even heard of this. Oh, author of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Now a movie. In this exquisitely told novel, John Le Carre shows us once again his acute understanding of the world we live in and where power really lies. <gasps> okay, I'm excited to try this. I will be reading this and reporting back. Thank you, Jeanette. So I finished Our Kind of Traitor and it was an experience. I am still honestly trying to sort out all of my thoughts. For this review, I'll start with a brief synopsis of the book, and then I'll move into a bit of my own personal review. And then if you're like me and you might appreciate some content or trigger warnings, I'll pop that at the end. And then finally, a few brief spoilers at the very end. And I'll timestamp all of those so you can easily jump around or see which sections to skip if you don't want spoilers. Okay, so a brief synopsis. Our kind of trader opens up a couple, Perry and Gail, who were going on a much needed romantic getaway. While there, they meet a man named Dima, who challenges them to a tennis game. Perry and Gail start to kind of notice odd things such as mysterious people who are like watching them and turn out to be bodyguards, children who are uncharacteristically stoic and quiet, and very odd questions posed to them by Dima. The couple discovers that Dima is in fact actually a money launderer and he is trying to escape the life of crime he's been involved with and find a way to protect himself and his family. Perry and Gail get swept up into this international intrigue almost against their will. I liked this book, but I also didn't like this book. It jumps around a lot between past and present, and it also covers a lot of different perspectives from within the story. There's also a lot of characters in the story, and it made it a little hard to keep track of, especially when characters are also started giving code names. It was even harder to keep track of. I was debating almost the whole time as to whether or not I was enjoying the writing style. On the one hand, I was not. I felt like it was a little bit hard for me to track and follow what was going on, but I also really did like it because it really fit the story. The dryness of the writing really kind of just added to the intrigue and the way the story was written. I don't really know how to describe that better. It wasn't action packed, but I also felt like in that way, it was also kind of more like real life because sometimes things just kind of happen and people are left just kind of trying to figure out how to respond to and deal with what just happened. I liked that the way the book kind of made me question who I was rooting for. I liked that there wasn't necessarily a distinct resolution as to who the bad guys were and who the good guys were. I liked how pieces were slowly handed out to the reader through different character points of view. I think overall, a few days out from finishing this book, I would give this book three out of five bookmarks. It was good, but I didn't love it and it wasn't life-changing. Okay, if you're like me, sometimes you might appreciate content or trigger warnings depending on your situation or season of life or just things you just plain don't want to read. So if that is you, here are a few things. Our Kind of Trader definitely does have a lot of adult language, so if that is something that you like to avoid or just want preparation for, just know that there is a lot. And there are multiple passing remarks to things like slavery, infidelity, sexism, rape, torture, abortion, and suicide. Okay, and now for some spoilers. And I'm just going to kind of give you a second in case you got to the spoiler section by accident and you don't want spoilers. Because a couple spoilers are coming up. First of all, the ending. I was so annoyed. I was reading along and noticing, you know, oh, there's fewer and fewer pages. How are they going to wrap up this whole book in only a few pages? And then two paragraphs at the very end. I did not like that. I think for me, it could have worked if they had had just a little bit more, just a little bit more, either like follow up after that or some more, just, I don't know, a little bit of something more. However, I do have to say, like it really annoyed me, but also it kind of worked for the whole way that the rest of the book was written and the way 
that it was kind of leading you to that point, like it kind of worked. It was just also very annoying. Secondly, why did Dima want to leave if he knew that he was probably going to be killed? Now, maybe this was one of the pieces that I missed because as I said, some of it was a little confusing to me. Maybe he was basically being like forced out of the family business or whatever, because he didn't seem like he didn't have a change of heart. It's not like he was suddenly repentant of all of his international crimes. He just wanted to protect himself and his family. I'm guessing he must have been being forced out. That's what I'll go with. And my last question, how did so many characters in the book happen to know so many spies? Like, do most people just know, like, spies? Perry knew, and somehow it was common knowledge around the campus where he taught, that this one teacher had connections to people who had connections. I don't know. It just seemed, it seemed very convenient that anytime anybody needed a connection, they always knew somebody with a connection. But, you know, it worked out for the story. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you've read Our Kind of Traitor, let me know what you thought of it and how many stars or bookmarks you gave it. I had so much fun reading this mystery book from my friend, and I look forward to the next one.